Sundara is around 6 hours from Sydney and 50 minutes northwest of Armadale in New South Wales. The 2023 Bandara show today included the Ute Muster with a great show of Utes. There's a lot of pride in these cars and it was great to see everyone enjoying just hanging out together. The Ute Muster competition included loudest exhaust revving and some of these really got going. to have an FPOS machine and we were going to do cash outs but the dongle is not working probably partly because we have unreliable phone connection here but what we're doing is that we're actually if people deposit into our bank account via their OSCO we'll give them cash out so there's plenty of cash out to be had um, but we just have to think outside the square because in rural areas where services are limited we have to do things however we can do Absolutely. So this turnout today at the Bundara Show, it's a good turnout, it's a warm day. It's a beautiful day, we had like a big massive storm last night which was good because it watered down the arena for the for the uh, horses because it's been a little bit dry. Um, this is our first, sort of last year they ran a mini show, so this is our first step back after COVID for a show. Yep. Um, we're only running limited events because we're waiting on some new buildings to be built. So hopefully next year we're going to run a full horse program and a full show, hopefully with a new pavilion and new horse stables. So um, wow. this is just getting back into the swing of things. So we're going to build from this foundation. So how important are shows like this for the local communities? I think like there's, in rural communities, like obviously we can't just go to Westfields and go shopping and whatever. And I think a lot of things like the horse events and the youth events and the demo derby, they're ways that, they're ways that rural people can get together and socialise and participate in events, um, you know, which sort of is the mainstay because most of the time people are fairly isolated. So we need things that bring community communities together and it also brings money into small towns so um, you know like a lot of small towns they've sort of the convenience of having a local Woolworths even if it's half an hour drive away has meant that the individual little businesses so we're trying to promote small towns small businesses thriving rural communities thriving small communities because at the end of the day like that's all we've got each other in a small community and at the end of the day no one else is going to look after us if we don't look after each other Sheree's had a couple of runs and her husband had a couple of runs in this car. Sheree, what's it like in the heats when you're in that battle of the paddock? Um, it's insane. They hit hard. Um, it's a, basically just a big adrenaline rush, yep. really. It's so cool to do. This is my first one, so I was a bit nervous to start, but loved every minute of it. Yep. 
So big hits, like they jolt the body, you can really feel it. Yeah, I jolted my neck in there, um, but it seems to be all right now. <laughs> I'll probably be sore tomorrow, but yeah. <laughs> All right, and tell us about the Smurf car. Tell us the name. What do you do with the car? You guys build them all yourself? Yeah, we build them. My hubby builds them. I paint them. Um, so he welds the whole thing. We rip everything out of it, strip it down, um, and then I just undercoat it and draw on my little characters. And this is a Smurf one. Um, I also done his Inspector Gadget one, which is down the other end. That's six cylinder. So it takes a bit of time, but yeah, it's pretty fun. So you'll straighten this one out and repaint it? Um, no, I won't repaint it. We'll probably just straighten it out and put it in another one later on down the track. But yeah. So your plan is to go all the way to the end? Yep. yep. Okay. Try and get it to the end and try and win. <laughs> Alright, we'll see how the Smurfs go and Cherie in her car. Go to the Smurfs! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. All right. We absolutely loved watching the Demo Derby. Anthony's car is sponsored by High Tide Security and he did really well in the bashes we saw. Following each heat, the cars were retired to a different paddock to go through some fine tuning to get ready for the next bash. They had a great team of expert partners with specialist gear. Arena sorting is one of Australia's fastest growing equestrian sporting competitions. A team of three riders has to herd 10 head of cattle in numerical order through some gates. It was great horsemanship here, it was fun to watch and these guys really get into it. It was a packed afternoon of events, including the Ute Show presentations, barrel race, more demo derby heats, ride on mower display race, some live music, and then the winner takes all demo derby bash for cash. We hope everyone had a great evening.
Join us for our next adventures. There are no strangers, just mates we haven't met yet.